I'm not Kelly Stamps, but I'm Stephanie, and I think people like me who don't have objects as their last name matter too, and we can have dynamic personalities just like Miss Stamps. And she also wrote her own scripts, so she made it look easy, so I'll guess I give it a try, but I digress. If you didn't know already, this is a creative channel, so I'm going to try to show you how to use the creative bones in your body that I know you have. Your Instagram page could probably use it, but you can use these ideas anywhere. First, stop using presets for your photos. You know the ones on Google, right? Those are not your original photos and you're kind of plagiarizing. And they're basic. So maybe go outside and take some original photos. Or not, because if you have curly hair like me, you don't want to have your hair freeze off. I sure didn't plan on going outside today, besides going to the gym. No, for real though, it's cold outside. 40 degrees to be exact. And I'm literally here shivering, mostly because my realty company only has a budget of 10 minutes per six hours of radiating heat in their college style dorm apartments. Yeah, but it's also hard to get a home here in Chicago where temperatures can get as low as negative 20 degrees. I have a warm bed and all I can say is I think that balances it out. Let me set the mood because that was a little depressing. It's November and Mother Earth is losing her leaves and gaining her pearls. This is the time of year where creatives and artists make their best work. Not only that, but Isaac Newton created the scientific legacy during the harvest season where an apple fell on his head bring him to the realization that being creative hurts and it can also be time consuming but it's so worth it and now i'm going to exercise my rights as an artistic human being and use my home as an artistic studio i'm gonna work with what i have and right now my living room has the best lighting in the afternoon which is the time of day it is Today I'm gonna go for today I'm gonna go for a look that is more mental health positive, maybe like me wearing a face mask because I want my Instagram page to be more mental health positive. Either way, it's just me like showing what I do to care for myself and people can do whatever they want. They can just use it as motivation to care for themselves instead of overworking themselves all the time. So I think that is gonna be something that is gonna be the purpose of this look I guess and also I think it's just really convenient to just do like some kind of self-care like on Fridays or like sometime like during the week because I don't know we owe it to ourselves I am also going to wash my hair and lay it down for the photo but I do plan on braiding for the winter so my hair doesn't break off all of the curly hair people know So I just put on this mask and it's starting to get really hard so I'm going to try to take it off. I already took a lot of pictures that came out interesting. Like they're a little bit blurry and like I don't know how I feel about them but I might use them and I'm just happy that I spent some time today to like be creative and that is always a win. So now that we have the photos for Instagram we're going to spice things up. Um, by adding some cool illustrations to our collection of creative Instagram and Pinterest content. So I like to use Procreate for my illustrations because it's a flexible software and it's easy to work with. Literally anyone can work with it and it's also very helpful for creating animations or just using it to make like cute little drawings and animations and graphics. You can even make custom titles for YouTube in here. So today I feel like making a custom motivational quote for my Instagram page and I'm going to make it into the size of a square using this Procreate app on my iPad and I'm going to choose the, where is it, Instagram square and this square is something that I made that's exactly the size as an Instagram photo and for with this I'm going to create a theme for my Instagram post and I'm going to use um, my own personal colors like purple, blue, 
and also like nude color because those are just my colors from my Instagram. I'm going to see what happens when I play around with these abstract details using those colors. And then I'll choose a quote from the Bible because that's my thing. So first I am going to choose one of my brushes. Right now I like using um, the monochrome one. So that's in calligraphy. Monochrome. Uh, I already made a color palette. And I put all my colors in here. Uh, you can just kind of like use whatever colors right there and then drag it. Then you can like just tap it and then it'll be there. And you can also delete them by holding it and deleting it. So first I'm going to use purple. And I'm just going to like play around and just see what happens. But right now I'm really just liking... Oops. I'm liking some of these like squiggles. And just having a little bit of fun. Dragging and dropping and seeing what's happening. So yeah, I'm just gonna like play around and see what I like. Now I'm gonna write my quote. I have it right here and it says, it says, stand firm and you will win life. Luke 21, 19. So I'm gonna take that and use a very special one. I think brush pen might be good. So yeah, I'm gonna take my pen and I'm gonna go in with some white and use the brush pen technique of light up and hard down. So let's see how this goes. I'm gonna go to the top and go to share JPEG and airdrop it. I really want to use this same kind of method to also like promote my brand with my podcast and just kind of like inspire and also just create some illustrations um, using Procreate. How can you be creative when you aren't organized? Try something new and start bullet journal. It's so helpful and it really beats printed planners. You can customize it any way you want and create your own theme for each month. So on the left, here is um, my quote for the month. You can get it from wherever you want. And on the right is the title page for the month. And I have like little um, doodles around it for the theme. This theme is kind of just like fall vibes. And on the next page, this is where you can put like the uh, monthly planner. So you put like the title, uh, which is like the month. And then uh, you have the days of the month. And you just kind of like do like an overall planning for it. Um, these squares are six by six, I believe. And this is in a bullet journal. I just put like the days at the top and I start on Monday and on Sunday for some reason because I like it that way and I just track like just random things like maybe like my income goals and just like I also allow like um whatever is left over of the month I like putting like my goals on the right on the next page there you'll have the mood and habit trackers uh, you can get really creative with this. You can find inspiration from Pinterest. On the next page, you can have your monthly tasks. Um, I like to separate them into different areas of my life. I have one for school, work, and social media. So like, I just put like my month goals for each area. On the right side, it's kind of optional, but I like um, putting my podcast for the month. And then after that, you kind of just go into your daily plannings. So this is like where all your to-do lists go for the days. This is probably where you'll mostly be using it and just like keeping track of like what you have to do for the day. You can just write out your to-do list and just take them off and you can also make like little bullet notes for just like things to keep in mind. After that, um, if you're a content creator, 
I would highly suggest you create like a content plan and this side is where I'm actually doing the work to generate that content and um, yeah and also just like what kind of work and other things I have to be doing on each day. And then towards the end of the month I always like to have a reflection area to just reflect on things I did good, where I can do better, things I need to do less, things I need to do more what I'm excited for and what I'm uh, worried about. Then it's kind of like a bonus page, but I like to put like brainstorming towards the end. Bullet journaling has really changed how I think about just like organizing my life. And it's also curated personally for how I want it to look. And I really just like using all of these different strategies to stay creative and stay hopeful during these times. And I really hope that you found something that you want to use for yourself. And if you did, make sure you give this video a like and also subscribe for more videos. And hopefully in the next video, I'll be showing how I plan out my month for November. And yeah, make sure you stay tuned for that. Make sure you stay creative and keep on scribbling.